So up YouTube, this is General Hines on day two of my new streak of uploading uh, Pokemon Showdown battles, I guess. I got two new battles for you today. Uh, they're both UU with an older team than the one I used in the last video. Uh, I used to think this one was terrible, which is why I stopped using it, but my new one is even worse. So this one's pretty fun. Uh, I lead off with the Bronzong. He's going to lead off with the Arcanine. I'm heatproof, so I'm not really scared of whatever he's going to do. I don't know if he predicted the switch in going for the Will-O-Wisp the first time, or if he just wanted to burn my Bronzong, but he does miss the first one, which is unfortunate, so I get Toxic and Stealth Breakup, which is cool. Uh, he's going to switch out, I guess. Um, I'm predicting the Fire-type move, so that's why I switch in my Houndoom uh, to get the Flash Fire. But he ends up switching in his... Uh, Bisharp, which is unfavorable for him. So he could have just, if he was predicting the fire type move, moved in, uh, switched in uh, his um, Arcanine, but I guess he was predicting the dark type move. Uh, so he switched in Hitmon top, but I ended up doing a decent amount of damage to that. Uh, and he, I was predicting the mock punch, so that's why I switched into his Zoomerl, who's just bulky as hell and can take hits for days. So I don't really know why he stays in against me because he's able to get rid of the rocks, but then he just has to sack his spinner because close combat's not going to do anything to me. It's a three hit KO. Um, and I used to have choice ban on this, but I actually think lefties is better because it improves his survivability over the matches. Um, he's going to switch in Zapdos, so I got to switch. Um, if I switch in Flygon for the electric immunity, he could go for HP Ice, which is why I switched to Grumpig. And he does, in fact, go for HP Ice, so that's awesome. Um, I go for the Psychic and get some nice damage on the Swampert and the Switchin. And then I taunt because I'm predict predicting him to be a Stealth Rocker, so that was nice. Uh, he did go for Stealth Rock, so I predicted that. Then I'm going to switch in Virizion, but he makes a very nice double switch into his Arcanine. And then yet again, right here, predicts a nice uh, double switch, or goes for another double switch again, predicting my switch into a Zoomerl and goes for Swampert, except I know I can just take an Earthquake, so I'm going to be okay with that. His Swampert appears to be more offensive than defensive because I actually do a decent amount of damage with that Waterfall. Not quite a 2 KO, but I would have been able to take him out with a third aqua jet um but i do switch out hoping that he'll earthquake again but he predicts my switching to flygon and goes for waterfall so that's cool uh i go for outrage here but he goes for a nice smart move and switches into arcanine uh for the intimidate drop and i don't know why he did this here because he could have taken another hit with arcanine and then killed me if he had the extreme speed or he wouldn't even had to take the hit from the outrage but he brings in bishop for the resist and actually i get a crit which is really unfortunate for him because bishop is a much better late game sweeper and to have him lose so much HP early on is bad. Uh, so I'm going to bring in Bronzong, um, just because he's my physical wall. And because I'm burned, uh, when he sets up his sub, uh, he's able to survive. His sub is able to survive one hit. So he's able to get at least one Sucker Punch off, me, uh, off on me, and it actually does a lot of damage. Uh, so I'm able to take on his sub, but here, I'm not sure why he went for the Iron Head. He might have been predicting my switch. But I didn't really have a good reason to save my Bronzong. But now that he's such low HP, I'm actually going to switch my Bronzong out. But I don't know if he was predicting that or if he just thought Zapdos was better. Maybe he was trying to save his Bronzong, which is good. But I go into my Zoomerl, hoping that I could just go for an Aqua Jet to get the priority. But because he has Zapdos, I have to switch out. Uh, he goes for HP Ice again, predicting the Flygon. But I just bring in Grumpig just because it's way safer. It's it's just really, you know, Grumpig's good special wall. Um, he predicts the switch in here. He predicts the Psychic type move on his Zapdos, he brings in Bishop, but I actually go for the uh, Thunder Wave, which is nice, and then I go for Taunt, but he just goes for Iron Head anyway. I was hoping he wouldn't set up, but I guess he was just trying to get as much damage as possible, which was smart. Switching to Houndoom, he gets the Parahax, or I get the Parahax, um, and I'm just gonna go for Flamethrower. Uh, he could've gone into Arcanine again, I'm not sure why he didn't, he just went into Swampert for the resist, so, you know, he I do almost nothing to that. Then I'm just gonna sack my Bronzong, which I do reveal to be uh, heatproof, but then I get a free switch in my Brizion, so I get an easy Leaf Blade. Uh, crit didn't matter that I got on that Swampert, uh, obviously. Uh, but he brings in Zapto, so I'm definitely gonna have to switch out. He's definitely gonna go for the ice type move, so I'm just gonna sack my uh, uh, Grumpig, and I'm gonna try and get as much damage as possible with the HP ice. But this was a pretty good call on his part. Uh, the hack screwed him over, but because he resists HP ice, he actually takes almost no damage from it. And with lefties, it's like a three hit KO, except he gets like three turns of paralysis in a row, so he's not even able to do any damage to my Houndo. Not sure if that really mattered because I do resist both his stabs, but if he had Brick Break, he definitely would have been able to take me out, which I actually used to run Brick Break on one of my old uh, Fish Arms. But he brings in Zapdos. I'm just going to try and get as much damage as possible, so I do get uh, almost half uh, damage on half the HP off of Zapdos, but he takes me out with a um, Thunderbolt. I'm going to bring in Virizion now, um, and I'm going to go for the Stone Edge, but his Arcanine actually takes it surprisingly well when he switches in, but then right after that, I'm just going to go straight for the close combat, because I'm pretty sure I outspeed. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I outspeed, um, but he switches in this Flygon, and here he just kind of like shuffles pokes around. I'm not sure why he was doing it, because, I mean, I, had, I was taking Life Orb damage, so it's not like it was obvious that I was choiced or something. 
Um, so I'm just going to go for Stone Edge and try and get as much damage on this Zapdos as possible. But it's going to come down to the wire here because I only have a Zoomerol and uh, Flygon left. And because my Flygon's not Scarf, I have to go for Aqua Jet in order to kill the uh, Zapdos. And I know an Aqua Jet's not going to kill Flygon, but it's the only way that I can get any damage on him. And here it's going to come down to whether I outspeed. If he's Scarfed, I lose, but I'm Jolly, so I outspeed, and I'm able to take him out uh, in that last game of Chicken with Not Rage. And that was a really close game. That's why that's why I decided to uh, put it up, because it was, it was really awesome. This next one is definitely really close, and Flygon helps a lot, uh, too, in this battle um, against Vissimus. I uh, don't know how you pronounce that, but this is also a battle from Pokemon Showdown. Same team. Uh, same lead. I pretty much always lead with Bronzong, and he leads with Gligar, which is just a great lead in general because I pretty much can't do anything to him. I know he's going to taunt, so I'm just going to go straight into a Zoomerl and try and get some damage with a Waterfall, but he's going to go for the U-turn uh, and bring in his, his own Azumarill for the uh, um, Resist, which is good. I was pretty sure he would have Return because I carry Return on my Azumarill. Uh, I used to uh, just, I, I have all four moves because he used to be Choice Bandit, but I haven't changed them. Um, so bringing Bronzong for the resist, and I'm able to get up Stealth Rock on his own switch into Chandelure. I don't know if he was predicting my switch when he went for Shadow Ball, because he could have just gone for Fire Blast. I didn't really care because I'm heatproof, but he doesn't know that. Um, so I'm able to get a good amount of HP, over half of his HP off his Chandelure, and I have Rocks up. But he brings in Gligar smartly for the uh, ground immunity, and I switch into Azumarill, and he U-turns out to Medicham. Now this whole time, I was pretty sure, or I thought Medicham would be Scarf, because I feel like they almost always are, because his, his attack is just so insane. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and sack my Azumarill after I get some damage with the, uh, um, Aqua Jet. I'm going to bring in Grumpig for the resist. Uh, he brings in Umbreon to get the immunity to the Psychic, which was very smart. And I went for Taunt, expecting, I guess I thought he would, like, try and Toxic me or something. Uh, but he just goes for the Foul Blade, which does a lot of damage, which is cool. I bring in Virizion, and he makes a very smart move and double switches to Chandelure, because I was hoping to get the Justified boost or something. But then I'm able to just go straight into Houndoom, and I'm Scarfed, and I have Flash Fire, of course. So I just go for the Dark Pulse, and I'm able to take him out. Uh, next, he's going to bring in Bronzong. Apparently, he seems to know that I'm Scarfed. Maybe his own, uh, what do you call it, uh, Chandelure was Scarfed. Uh, but as he brings in Bronzong, I'm going to bring in my Flygon. And he can't do anything to me. And, you know, he does have rocks up now, but I'm going to bring in my own Bronzong. Now, this part's just sort of pointless because neither of us can do anything to each other. I went for Toxic, hoping that he would switch, but he doesn't. He just goes for the Earthquake and actually reveals that I'm heat proof, uh, which is fine. doesn't really matter. I'm just going to bring in Grumpig. Um, and he doesn't do that much damage to me. Uh, I th do I go for the status here? Oh no, I actually switch out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to bait him into going for the Earthquake. Um, and he does in fact go for the Earthquake again. So I bring in Flygon, and I go for the Fire Punch, and I'm not sure why he did this here. Maybe he was predicting this, I mean, he was obviously had to be predicting a switch, or he misclicked. But I think a Gyro Ball would have done a lot of damage there, especially if I was Scarf, which a lot of them are, even though I'm not actually Scarf. Uh, now this was key, and I think this changed the game. I burn his Azumar on the switch in, which is why you just can't play dumb, or you just can't play risky with Azumar, because if you get him burned, he's basically done. I bring in Bronzong to wall him, but he ends up double switching to Umbreon. Uh, I figured he would go for Wish or something, I mean, he can't really do anything to me, so I might as well go for the Toxic. Uh, he could have switched in Gligar. I, I mean, I feel like he could have played Gligar a little bit better this game, but, you know, it's, it's all good. So I get the Toxic off on his, uh, um... Umbreon, but this is what was weird to me. So he went for the Wish first, and then switched in his burned Azumarill, and then switches in his Umbreon, who takes a crit. It doesn't really end up mattering later, because he does wish himself up later, again. But he could have just gone for Heal Bell first. I couldn't have really have done anything to him, and then he could have just gone for Wish. I mean, maybe I could have gone for Toxic again, I guess, but there was a chance it could have missed, and it doesn't really matter, because he would have healed Azumarill first, and wouldn't have had to switch out again. But I don't know. So I just bring in uh, Virizion on a, on a turn that I know he'll protect. Um, so I go for Sword Dance on the switch, but because he, he passes the wish to Medicham, but because I think that he's Scarfed, I'm actually afraid that he's going to kill me. Um, so at this point, when he switched into Gligar, I'm just going to go for the close combat, hoping I can live a hit, which I know I can't, if he's Scarfed. Um, but I thought he was just mind gaming me, expecting me to switch, so I end up getting a crit on the Gligar. I don't really think it mattered, because it was a 3 KO anyway, but I'm able to take him out, so that's cool. Um, and his Medicham is still alive. So when he brings his Bronzong, I figure he's just going to go for the Gyro Ball, so I'm just going to sack my uh, Grumpig, no big deal. Then I get a free switch into Houndoom, and I am going to go for the Flamethrower just to be safe, and maybe I can get another burn on the Azumarill if, you know, if I get lucky. But I was afraid here of the Aqua Jet, but apparently he doesn't carry it, which I really think that all of them should. I actually have Aqua Jet and um, a Waterfall, but I don't know, to each of them. So I end up taking out the Azumarill, which is really nice. He brings in his Umbreon. Uh, I get the Burn Hex here. Earlier he went for uh, Protect to get some much-needed lefties gain, uh, which I think helped. Uh, it was probably still a 2KO anyway. 
I don't really think the burn mattered, but on the turn that I knew he would protect to get the wish, I switched into Flygon. Um, and the reason that I don't think the burn matters is because I have U-turn, and I don't even crit here, and it kills him anyway. So I'm pretty sure that I would have been able to take him out regardless of the burn. Um, but I go ahead and U-turn out right out back into Houndoom, and I know I outspeed him here because I know at least I'm Scarfed, and Houndoom does have higher base speed. Um, unless he had Mach Punch, which would have been bad, but then he would have locked himself in, and that's relatively weak, so it would have been okay. Uh, but he, I don't kill him, and I know I won't, but he actually has the Drain Punch, which I guess I should have expected. Um, so the problem is, I bring in Bronzong, and he doesn't kill me, but because he's gaining back HP, the Gyro Ball, while it does a lot of damage, is not going to kill him. Uh, so this is really going to come down to the wire, because I think that he Scarfed. I thought he won the game, because none of my other pokes outspeed him if he Scarfed. But I bring in Verizion, and apparently that I outspeed him the entire time, which is why, you know, now I know in retrospect why he switched out earlier into his Glider. Um, but because of that, the game's basically over, because while he is able to take me out uh, with a Gyro Ball on my Verizion, um, because the Close Gambit doesn't quite kill him, um, I do have Flygon, and once again, I'm going to finish this game with Flygon with a Fire Punch. Uh, it was a really great game. It was super close. Both of these were. They were both actually pretty high ranked. I, I tend to not get that high ranked people, or I, I try to get as high ranked as possible, but for some reason they're like mid, mid to low kind of. I'm not ranked that high. I think my rating's like 1500 right now. Maybe like, the highest I've gotten is like 1580, but I can't quite you know break that hump. Uh, but these were both really good battles. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm hopefully gonna be battling more. If any of you who are actually watching, I know there's probably not that many. Uh, Want to challenge me? Feel free. Uh, I'll battle on Showdown. I need to get an actual black and white two copy, but you know I'll do that eventually, maybe. And uh, yeah. So other than that, I'll catch you guys later. General Hans out.